JP, I'm the chef patron of Cat Bodega in Galway, and today we're going to be cooking for you uh, one of the most popular tapas, duck with plum and PX sherry. Today we're using Mary Regan's ducks from Wexford, they're organic uh, ducks, and we've cut the breast into two. Uh, we have some uh, pre sliced plums, we just uh, half our plums and cut the halves into quarters. Uh, we have some nice hand harvested sea salt from Ackle Island, and the sherry we're using today is a PX sherry from Malaga. Now, Pedro Jimenez. Um, sherry is the sweetest um, sherry and if you, if you can't find Pedro Jimenez you can use rare cream or you can use another sweet sherry like um, Moscatel but it has to be it has to be sweet. Okay so we're going to season our breasts delivery with the sea salt. This is the only seasoning we're going to give the, the breast uh, initially so we want to make sure that it's, it's evenly coated and then we're going to put it into a frying a hot frying pan uh, skin down. Okay so it's very important at this stage that we get a, a nice caramelization on the skin and that's why it's important that the pan is quite hot. So you don't need an awful lot of oil because there's an awful lot of fat will come out of the skin. So once you have a nice caramelization on your skin, turn it over and then crisp up the other side. You can also use the sides of the pan to get the edges of the breast, just if you, because the breast is uneven, um, so you want to just seal uh, every side of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove our duck from the pan, we're going to give our pan a wipe, and then we're going to deglaze our pan with our chef. We're going to leave that on to the alcohol burns and then we're going to add our plums. So we need about four for each duck. So once you've seared your duck on both sides and you have a nice colour, we'll pop it into a 180 degree oven for about four to five minutes. So what you want to do with your sauce is you want to get your plums nice and soft, but you also want them to reduce the alcohol enough that you get a nice kind of sticky, sticky glaze. So that'll be another minute or two. So the closer your bubbles are together, it means that your sauce is reducing it to the consistency that you want. Once you have a nice thick glaze, you can remove it from the heat and put it down to cool slightly. Once you have your duck out of the oven, it's important to let it rest for about three to four minutes. So we're going to arrange our plums onto the plate and then we're going to pour the sauce over the plums. So we're going to slice our duck into three. Take that bit off. And then we're just going to season the outside of the duck. We're going to place our duck gently into our dish. So a lovely celery cress here grown by Cara's Microgreens in Gorth. And we're just going to finish off our duck with a little bit of that. And the little pockets of celery flavour will uh, complement the flavour of our, of our duck and our sherry sauce. And there we have our duck, plums, PX sherry sauce, and celery cress. Enjoy! If you're looking for a wine to accompany your duck, I think the perfect match is a Pinot Noir. This is a Pinot Noir from New Zealand. It's called Paper Road. Uh, it's produced by Paddy Broderick. It's available by, from Wines Direct. Um, it's a nice light Pinot Noir. Uh, and Pinot Noir grapes are quite characteristically uh, cherries and um, plums and uh, hints of cinnamon. So it has a nice, um, has nice flavours that will complement both the duck and the, and the sherry sauce. The Pinot Noir is also kind of like a little oakiness to it as well and that um, oakiness will, um, will work well with our, with our duck. So that's it from JP's Spanish Kitchen today. Um, all that's left for me to do is to have a drink of wine and uh, eat some duck. So hopefully you'll be able to recreate that at home. If you have any uh, requests um, on the tapas you'd like me to cook, um, do um, send them in either on uh, by email, Facebook, or Twitter. And um, so, uh, salut.